Hey there guys, it's your favorite backyard geographer. This time we're out in the field in Death Valley, California. We're just about three miles north of Badwater Basin, which is known to be the lowest point in North America, at a little place called the Devil's Golf Course. So let's talk about why it's called that. So the Devil's Golf Course gets its name all the way back in 1934 from a book that stated that only the devil himself would want to play on a golf course this rocky. Now what's important to know about this is that this is all sodium chloride, otherwise known as table salt or halite. What's interesting in this case is that there's, this is a, a playa deposit, a very large deposit of this halite. And knowing that Death Valley is one of the hottest places on earth, and you know, during the summer it's not uncommon to be over 120 degrees Fahrenheit all day long. As that water evaporates, leaving these minerals behind, we're left with these really, really unique pointy halite crystals that are mixed with obviously silts and clays. What's interesting also about that is because when it's that hot, when you're out here in the middle of the summer, you can actually hear the water evaporating from the salt and it makes a very eerie popping and snapping noise. So again, I wanted to show you just some of the details of these crystals. You know, this is obviously sodium chloride, which is known as halite. But just from our perspective, this is four times saltier than ocean salt. So this is really, really highly concentrated salt. Two more reasons why I really enjoy stopping at the Devil's Golf Course is one is that it's centralized. We can see the entire Death Valley area just in this one location here. Another reason why is because we can observe a lot of the different landforms that are found throughout the region, such as alluvial fans, bajadas, arroyos, and obviously your playa lakes. One more thing that's kind of fun if you ever get the chance to come out here is that there's a naval base not that far from here. It's called the Coso Mountain, uh, the naval base there in particular, but they fly a lot of experimental jets. And once in a while you can be out here and you'll be able to see a stealth bomber or some other jets that kind of fly by and it's kind of neat. Well, thanks for watching. You know, if you need directions or have any suggestions, don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll talk soon. It's one of my favorite spots, one of. I don't like how I said that, it's, I have lots of them.